still late in the afternoon on a Saturday. The time is now 6.25 p.m. and we still have daylight, which is great. Uh, it gives me a lift to have daylight in the late afternoon and early evening. I have here something interesting. It is the Glenn Grant 15-year-old um, batch strength, which would be 50% alcohol by volume, if I'm not mistaken. 50%, yes. Now, I like Glenn Grant 12. I like Glenn Grant 12 a lot. I really enjoy it. It is one of my favorite uh, starting whiskeys. I guess it's, um, it's, it's, I think it's bottled at 43%. It's easy drinking. It's uh, got some sherry. It's, it's nicely balanced. And I thought, well, when I'm at this premium spirits release and this was available, that would be the BC Liquor Store premium spirits release on the 13th of November, 2021. Since I was first in line, <laughs> of course I got a bottle. I got a bottle of whatever was at the store that I wanted, but recently I saw a video made by none other than Ralphie, Ralphie Mitchell, talking about this very whiskey. And I'm going to see if I got the same thing as he did, because he was not too thrilled with it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to pour a dram of this Glen Grant 15 at strength, and I'm going to read all the particulars that are on the box here, except for maybe tasting notes, because we don't need those. They usually embellish the tasting notes and make them to be more than what is really there. And then you go, oh, how come I don't taste that? How come I don't taste this? How come I don't smell that? Well, that's because it's marketing. Oh, wait a minute. This foil looks like it's going to be giving me some headaches. It looks like it's going to be troublesome because it broke. I grabbed the little thing and it broke. Well, you know what? I'm just going to cut try and cut through the whole thing with oh I think I have something here I think I've cut through the foil yep I've cut through the foil now we just need to pry it off without opening the cork and then we will open the cork okay we got the foil off good good <clears throat> and naturally the cork All right, maybe I should get a little bit more of the foil off before I start to pour. I think that's reasonable. Have the whiskey not contact the foil while it's being poured. Okay. It makes the correct glug glug sounds. And this is going to be, this is strong, you know, like 50%. For my second whiskey, and the first one was a 46, what will I be like when I've done four whiskeys tonight? Uh, okay. Let it sit for a few moments while I read this here. Uh, the Glen Grant's Rothes Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, aged 15 years, batch strength, first edition. Okay, that's pretty special. And Major James Grant created created something. Tall, slender stills and unique purifiers to capture only the finest vapors. Product of Scotland, fifty percent alcohol by volume, seven hundred fifty mils. It does not say, uh, it says a few things here. Not really much. Imported by Campari America, New York, New York. Non-chill filtered. Probably not colored either, but who knows. 
what will it say on the box? The box. Okay. Okay, finest papers, great. Okay, here we go. Master Distillers, Denny, Dennis Malcolm, the longest serving distiller in Scotland, crafted this 15 year old single malt Scotch whiskey at 50% ABV batch strength, bringing an intensified expression of the Glen Grant signature style, matured in hand selected first fill ex bourbon casks. An impactful flavor is further enhanced by non chill filtration for a fuller texture. This golden liquid offers aromas of citrus fruit uh, and tasting notes. The ingenious James Grant de Major was a forward thinking and unconventional man. He personally designed innovative tall slender pot stills which, with unique precondenser vapor coolers to achieve his vision of a seductively smooth, fruity, rich, superior single malt. Yeah. The Major was one of the first distillers in Scotland to introduce precondenser vapor coolers into the distillation process. Purify, the purifiers further refine our whiskey by ensuring only the very finest vapors condense into spirit. The result is an elegant and aromatic style of whiskey for which the Glen Grant is renowned. Well, that's what I would usually expect. Okay, <clears throat> all right, now let's see what's happening here. <clears throat> okay, sheeting action, droplets. Trails of tiny droplets. Smells nice. I get pears. It's just barely opening up now. Just getting pears. <clears throat> getting a bit of a caramel butterscotch kind of thing along with my pears. <clears throat> this does not look like it was aged in sherry cask. If it was aged in sherry cask, it's a sherry cask that had been <clears throat> filled several times and aged other whiskey in besides this. I'm thinking bourbon barrels. What did I read? Did I read bourbon barrels? I forget. I don't know what I read. Okay. Yeah, some pears. A little bit of lemon. What else here? Bit of vanilla. The vanilla is coming out now. With a lot of these whiskeys, you know, they're kind of closed at the beginning and they start coming out. The different flavors start on the nose, the different aromas start coming out. Okay. Lemon, butterscotch.
Hmm. It doesn't have that much of an aroma. Bit of lemon, bit of vanilla, bit of butterscotch. That's about it on the nose. All right. Let's go on the palate. There's some lemon and butterscotch. And there's a heat. You know, I'm inclined to agree with Ralphie on this one. At least now, before it's really opened up. This is not as good as the Glen Grant 12. Batch strength. Yeah, a little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of maltiness. <clears throat> you know, what did I spend on this? Uh, what did I spend on this? Okay. Where is it? Okay, that's not it. Here it is. Glenn Grant. Okay, it cost me $89.99. This Glenn Grant did. So 90. That's uh nine dollars goods and sir uh BC liquor tax plus four dollars and fifty cents. Liquor tax, BC liquor tax, plus 10 cents bottle deposit, plus um, 89.99. Grand total of 103.59 out the door, or 103.60 if you're paying cash, because we don't have pennies anymore in Canada. So, 103 bucks. Glenn Grant, 15-year-old. I prefer the 12-year-old. Once again, a little bit of citrus. A little bit of caramel. A little bit of vanilla. But then there's an off... I think Ralphie was right. He explained it as a kind of heat, if I recall. And his explanation is that the still was rushed. It was distilled too fast. Should have been distilled more slowly. And I... I bowed to Ralphie's um, greater expertise than mine, 
But yes, I see myself not enjoying this as much as I should. Oh, I will drink it, yes. I will drink it. But I won't be enjoying it as much as I enjoy some others, 15-year-old whiskeys. In fact, I have some 15-year-old Johnny Walker Green Label, which, even though it has a much lower ABV than this, it's much more flavorful. It's much more tasty. I actually bought a bottle last night because the bottle that I have is down to its last dram. That's how much I like Johnny Walker Green Label. But this... For a little bit of citrus and a little bit of caramel and a little bit of vanilla. Now a little bit of harsh heat. Wait a minute. Let's see if adding some water to it will help. I think it helped Ralphie. I think adding water helped Ralphie with this one. Hey, shooting action, tiny little droplets. I don't know if you can see those, but try and tiny little trails of tiny little droplets. Now with the addition of water, I'm getting a little more vanilla than I was before. The citrus seems to have moved aside a little bit. Caramel butterscotch, faintly. You know, on the palate, there is still something lacking between the lemon and the vanilla and the caramel. I'm just getting a slightly dry, somewhat astringent finish that doesn't have much flavor at all. It's just kind of dry. Yeah, you know, on this score, Ralphie was correct. Slanchova. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>